Hey everybody, this is Jen from Scan and Cut Jam Sessions and Scan and Cut Canvas and Scal Help on Facebook. I want to show you how you can go about making your own um, things such as this. Okay, this is going to start from its own clip art and we will go ahead and put our own hole in it and make our own fonts completely and totally in scale. Okay, so let's go grab our little pumpkin. Okay. All right, and I want to show you something in here. Okay, so there it comes up in the picture um, that I had posted on our page right here, but it's not coming up um, in here. It says all images. What I need to bring up here is all files. And there it is. Okay, so make sure you change that when you go searching for a file or it may not come up. We'll blow this bad boy up. And center it. Okay. Let's bring up our library. And this is my new computer, so my library does not have all of my shapes in it, which depresses me. I have to go download all of them. We want this at 4, and we're going to center it up, but of course that's not centered how I would like it, so we'll put it about right there. Let's tick it up with one more tick. And we'll put it where it looks eyeball center. Okay. So now we're going to highlight it. And we're going to come up here to path. And we're going to click union because this has a filled center. So when we click union, it is not going to disappear. It's probably going to turn black. Which is absolutely okay, fine. Because we're going to add another circle to it. Okay. So let's come up to our library. We're going to add another circle and we're going to go four inches because the other one was four and a quarter. Oops, not that big. There we go. Okay, so let's get that about right there. And let's take it up a tick right there. That looks awesome. So now what we're going to do is we're going to come up to path and we're going to hit exclude. So the first one was path union. Now it is path exclude. And of course it's not responding. Scal has been acting quite crazy lately. Okay. So now it turned to that. Don't panic. Let's get this fixed here. We'll go to orange. There we go. So that's what we want. All right. So now let's add some fonts. Well, I'm going to have to go with the ugly ones that came in here. And we'll just pick this one. And we're going to type in my initials. And remember, the last initial goes in the middle. However, I cannot have that J hanging down like that because that will skew um, my bulge. I'm going to click, I'm up here, hit ungroup, highlight this little guy, and I'm going to bring him right up to the same distance the other ones are. A little more. There we go. That looks about right. Yep. Okay, so let's come in here, highlight this, regroup it. Okay, now we're going to come to the effects. <clears throat> let's move this over click auto preview but mine has been acting up and not giving me um, what I remember when I used to click on this and it would show me what it looked like it doesn't do that anymore so let's do the preview oh looks pretty tasty let's go up a smidge more and just see what this looks like Eh, maybe down 
down a bit. Okay, let's take that up a smidge. Okay. Take it down. Let's try 35. Oops. Oh, that looks better. Okay. And in here, you can actually click it to where it does it all together. <clears throat> I really wish they would have left um, some of the stuff alone in Scal because some of their updates are not that stunning. Okay. Let's try to get this centered. But a lot of people think they need to go out and buy the circle fonts. You don't. You can make your own. Okay. There you go. So that is how you go about making any type because you can bring in any um, JPEG clip art that you want and put the circle in there and then use the bulge to make your circle fonts and you can get this even more curved if you want just for time um, I just did it as quickly as I could to show you how you go about doing that um, like right now I could come in here and I could click this break this apart and actually go in and pull the B some more you can go in and do some note editing if you want the curves a little bit sharper um, there's just so many different things you can do in scale alright so that's how you go about doing it um, if you guys have any questions, come and find me over at Scan and Cut, Canvas, and Scal Help on Facebook. Thanks a lot, guys. Have a good day.